Hi, and welcome back to the Waveform 9 Quick Start. I'm going to show you some time stretching techniques in Waveform, both using the simple approach where you could just kind of resize an audio clip to stretch its time without changing the pitch. And then I'm going to show you how to use the warp time feature. So let's get started. Now on this clip, it's just slightly short of bar five. So I wanted to stretch it so that it lines up with the bar. If I play it back, you'll hear, Come on, baby. Now come on, baby. Oh, I say come on. So that's the basic clip. Now if I zoom in at the end, I just want to make a little timing correction. Now the trick to this is that you hold down the Alt key and drag from the trim handle. Normally if you drag this trim handle, you'll see that it just shortens the clip and then you can't really stretch it. But if you hold down Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC, you can see that it actually stretches the waveform out. Now the results you get will not make sense unless you have the stretch mode set correctly in properties. Let me just play this back. You might hear the artifacts. Oh, baby. See, it, it lowered the pitch if you don't choose a time stretch mode. So we'll undo that. I'll just click undo over here near the menu. I select the clip and I'll choose Elastic Pro. Most of the time, Elastic Pro is so good these days that you can just use that as your time stretch option. I'm also going to enable snap so I can pull this right to the bar line. I do that with Q or by clicking snap over here in the master section. Now, as you drag, you just hold down the Alt key and then drag, and it will resize it without changing the pitch. So if I play a little bit of that, Baby. and it actually does the resizing with very little in the way of artifacts. Come on, baby. Oh, I say come on, baby. Now come on, baby. Oh, I say come. So that's great, unless you want to do something that's a little more detailed. Like there's some timing issues here where in this vocal, the phrase comes in a little bit ahead of the bar here. And then out at bar three, it's, it's a little bit ahead still. Bar four, it's just slightly off. This is the bar marker. Now I can listen to that timing by enabling click and playing across it. Ooh, I say, come on, babe. So the best way to do this is to use the clip layer effects. So click on the FX. This is very similar to the way I showed you with clip gain in the previous video. Click on effects, click add effect, and then under the time pitch category, select warp time. And this puts you into the warp time editor. Now at this point, you can drop in warp points by clicking on this little dark area in the track. So right here is where I wanna make my change at this point. And then I can drag that marker. Now before I do that, you might want to add some additional points like this so that you don't completely change the phrasing. So I'll add one here. And any stretching that it does, it'll do between these two points. So now if I drag this, I can drag it and click and then lock that in right to the correct timing. Now out here, I've got the same sort of thing. I want to go up to this phrase and make this the thing that starts right on bar three. So I could just drag that over till it locks in. I probably don't need this point. You can delete a point by holding on shift as you click. Also, if you've got a point in here, you can right click it to remove the marker. They call them markers here. Or you can also remove all the markers to start over but you will hear that this has tightened this up. Oh, I said, come on, baby. Now come on. And it's that simple. So you want to just change the feel of this a little bit, like extend this part out. Then I'm going to go in here and put in a marker right here because I'm going to stretch from, say, this point. I'll put a marker here just to stretch from that point. And then I can put the marker in and immediately start dragging. I'll hit Q to turn snap off so I can do this freely. And I could do moves like this just to change the feel. Oh, I said, come on, baby. 
gives you a tremendous creative freedom to do that. If you don't like that, then you can just use undo to go back to where you were, or you could just delete the layer is another approach. Right here is where we've got the controls for the layer, where we add layers. If you don't like what you've done, you can just click minus here to remove the effect, and you're back to where you were. And if you want even more detailed control, you can go into loop properties for the clip, and there's a complete warp time editor available there. For the most part though, the essentials of what you need to do, you can do with the clip layer effects as I've just shown you. I think you're gonna enjoy this feature. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.